Hey everyone, welcome back. We've got heaps to update you on today. We've got lots going on on the bus. And then I've also got um, some exciting news that we are starting a new business adventure. I'm gonna share all that information and pop in some links at the end so you can come and check it out and travel along with us on our journey. But first, let's get straight into it and have a look at the bus. Check it out. She's all painted. Well, down three sides anyway. Oh my goodness. Guys, seriously, look at this. Painted at the front, down the sides, and then all the way down to the back. Looking slick. Okay, so we have the three sides done. We just obviously have to do the other side. Um, however, we need to spin the bus around to be able to do that safely. So that will get done probably in the next couple of weeks, maybe. Now, before anybody asks, no, it's not under coat. Yes, it is its final coat. <laughs> it is a matte finish, kind of like an ashy gray kind of color. So it's turned out really nice. Um, obviously we have still got a few more finishing touches um, to do on it, but it's pretty well how it's gonna look and we're pretty happy with it. Can you hear that? That's our aircon. 16 degrees of coolness. Tell you what, working on a bus in the heat when there's not that much through draft coming in is hot. So having this aircon being put in now and working is amazing. There she is in all her glory, pumping out some excellent coolness. No idea how much it means to us to have cold airflow. Oh, so good. All right, last time we spoke, we were talking about the door towards the bedroom and how we were thinking about turning it into like a, bi uh, turning the bifold door rather into barn slide. Check it out. Yo! We have a barn door slide. Oh yeah. So good. So much better than the bifold. How amazing does it look? And I'll tell you what, this thing was a pain in the butt for Chris. But he's amazing and he got it done and he figured it all out because it's just amazing. And totally in love with it. Obviously, we need to get the door lock um, put in, but we'll work that out later on. And we just pop this off as well because we're going to use these for whatever we want to hang up and um, thought we'd see what it looked like inside the door and the colours we think look pretty good. What do you think? Oh, so happy with this door. So with the bathroom, we're still waiting on a few bits of material. Um, so that's not 100% complete yet, but that's okay. That'll come along when it's ready. And then we've got the kitchen as well. So our friends have been working hard at uh, making it all behind the scenes. Um, and I believe, don't quote me, but I believe that we're possibly getting some work done for the kitchen, maybe some prepping and things um, next weekend. So there'll be hopefully another update after that and we'll be able to let you know how that's all going because currently at the moment it's, it's just just like this <laughs> so bit of a mess but i've seen the plans and the layout we've able been able to come up with this amazing plan and idea and they are putting it all together so it's going to look fantastic once it's all done all right guys we're going to get serious now we're going to talk electricity so I'm going to take you back down, just go off the door, back down to the shed. 
We got some sola. We got a lot of sola. So much sola. <laughs> it's kind of a bit hard for me to show you because they're up the wrong way. But look, my God, guys, seriously, 400, excuse me, 400, and 60 watts of power. These are industrial size solar panels. They are seriously massive. We have six of them that will run along the top of the roof. Um, we have our inverter on its way. Still need to get two more batteries. Um, but basically uh, is to be able to run our bus completely off grid. Don't want to have to plug in at all. Um, so we have enough solar there that if we had an entire week of rain, we would be fine and that we would be able to keep everything running. Plus we have the generator for backup as well. Um, but yeah, we wanted a massive system and we're getting one. <laughs> it's huge. And I can't wait to show you it all once it's sort of out and all of the bits are here. But currently, they are our big solar panels. And like I said, they're massive. All right guys, so now the exciting news. We have been working hard on a new brand. We are now BPA, Bailey's Tour Oz. And I'll pop the link in below so you can check it out. This is our web link to our website for t-shirts. So currently at the moment, we have a big selection of uh, female and male and kids t-shirts. We have new designs that will be out just about every week. And it's all Australian owned and operated company. So all of our products are from Australia, which is really cool. Now I can show you all our new adventure. So if you wanted to, you can pop on over, check out our designs, see what we've got. Um, our kids have personally designed all of the children's t-shirts. So that's pretty cool. They're doing that, um, really wanting to get involved, which is really cool. And yeah, so go on over, check out our website, have a look, see what you think and let us know. Alright guys, that's it. All sorted now. So we are going to be slowing down over the Christmas period. Obviously we've got our own family things happening, but we will update you as we go along with um, the kitchen, especially that will be a big one and whether or not that goes in before Christmas, we will let you know. Otherwise, we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.